All right, all right. So welcome back to Studio 39, a.k.a. The Bear Cave. I'm Rob Odie. This is Spotlight 39. Just like we do every time, we got some young men with some stories to share, man. These are some uh, young dogs, man. They out there doing their thing. They repping the, the Grind Factory 7 versus 7 team out of uh, the Atlanta, Georgia area, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, with that being said, man, please hit that subscribe button. Please continue to do what you do. Share on your social media. Continue to blow this thing up so we can continue to get the eyes on these young student athletes that they truly deserve. Now that that's out the way, man, let's have some fun. Let's get into it. I'm going to bring you in first. King, tell us who you are, where you're from, what you do. Floor is yours. Uh, my, name, my name is King Edwards. I'm from Georgia. I play football at Buford High School, and I play DN and tight end. DN and tight end. All right, all right. So, Chase, what about you, my man? My name is Chase Lim. I'm from Swanee, Georgia. Uh, I play football at North Burnett High School, and I play middle linebacker. Middle linebacker, okay. And last but not least, Justin, what you got? Uh, my name is Justin Johnson. I play football at Central Gwinnett, and I play quarterback. You say quarterback or cornerback? Quarterback. Quarterback, all right. Good deal, good deal, man. So we got a we got a variation of uh you know talent across the across the field, right? So um, you guys are in Georgia, so you guys were you know lucky enough to actually have a season and and play some ball and put some pads on, right? So uh, if anybody wants to kind of just walk us through you know your individual season, how it went uh, individually, you know, and then obviously uh, what you learned from this season. And uh, since you're unmuted already, Justin, I'll let you take this one first. Um. Yeah. This season, my season was it really wasn't the best, you know, cause we had a new coaching staff come in and we really didn't get all the spring reps, all the summer reps that we really wanted. So, you know, it was kind of tough, but individually I felt like I exceeded, but as a team, we could have done better, but I know next year we'll do much better because now we have the chemistry and we, we all built like a brotherhood and a bond. And they say, Brotherhood is the most important thing to 100%. play the football field. All right, it's all yours, my man. Um, really just getting bigger, um, becoming a better leader on the team because once they see the quarterback lead the team, then a, a, a lot of the other players will start following you and getting bigger, stronger, and faster because really at my size, um, people really don't look at you. So – just getting bigger, stronger, and faster. Taking, all right. Taking, uh, now I'm with it, man. And then look, it's all, it's all good, man. So look, so in order to get bigger, better, stronger, faster, you're already taking a step in the right direction. You know, you're on a fantastic, uh, you know, 7v17. And uh, obviously you got some big things coming up with that. We'll, we'll get into that after uh, we let the other two, you know, talk. And then, uh, you know, so you're on the right track. I appreciate that. So uh, my man, yes, Chase, what you got? Always. Walk me through a little bit of your season, you know, how did it go? What did you learn? And what are you going to focus on in the off season? Uh, we didn't have the best season as a team this year, but I felt like I met my uh, personal goals. And as far as the off season goes, I'm just looking forward to getting bigger, faster, stronger, and then kind of work on my man coverage a little bit. Okay. Yeah. So working on the man coverage. Very nice. And then last but not least, my man King, what you got? How'd your season go? My season went the best. We won the ship. Um, oh, oh, little, he, he wasn't even modest about it. He's a little, we, won, we had the best season. We won the championship. Look, it is what it is. Now, nah, go ahead, man. Yeah, <laughs> uh, one of my personal goals for next season during the summer is to get, just to be better, work on my routes more, get better footwork, get faster. And yeah. Okay. And then obviously, you know, the, you know, your 7v7 is, is a step in the right direction. Are any of you working with uh, any, you know, strength coaches, speed coaches, anything like that? Who, who do we got in your corner helping you uh, perfect your craft? Uh, I go to U48. Okay. What about you, Chase? Down here on the I just be uh, working out. Uh, we have, for like my third period, we have uh, strength and uh, like speed work. Okay. Yeah. Anything for you, Justin? Um, yes, sir. I go to my quarterback coach name, Coach Shorty. Okay. Uh, he's a local quarterback coach in uh, Gwinnett, the Gwinnett, Atlanta area. And every four, my fourth and eighth block, we have weight training. So I'm getting bigger and faster there. Okay. So everybody's got plans in place. Everybody's, you know, they, 
you guys all know exactly what you want to achieve during this all season. And uh, you, you've got the right pieces in, in place to make that happen. So, uh, so you guys are class of 23 uh, and then 24. So you guys have plenty of high school ball to play. Right. And hopefully with this whole coronavirus thing, hopefully coming to a past or, or coming to some form of normal here soon. Um, hopefully you guys will get the, the real off season, hopefully get some camps and all that good stuff. Um, but let's talk about the, uh, the grind factory, man. That's what it's all about, right? That's what we're here for. So let's talk about that, man. Who wants to take the floor first and, uh, tell me a little bit about the team, you know, what you guys, you know, where you're, you know, specifically from, and then, uh, you know, talk about your coaches, you know, talk about the, the program, right? Let's blow them up. That's what it's about. Um, Who wants to take it first? Sounds like Justin's ready to talk. I'll go. Uh, Really, Grind Factory, to me, hands down, Grind Factory is the best 707 program in Atlanta, Georgia, or just Georgia, period, honestly. Okay. Um, two years Georgia got some school. talent, man. Look, yeah, that's how, yeah. There, there, there's a lot of ballers come out of Georgia right now. My, yeah. my Twitter feed is blowing up right now. Yeah. We got boys, um, you know, getting getting offers left and right. Well, go ahead. Um, This is year two going strong. Um, Our first tournament was in Myrtle Beach. It was about a good... 60 teams there. We placed we placed third in that tournament, I believe. Okay. And now this is our first year ever going. And coaching staff is is really amazing. Oh, they push us to our, our they push us to good standards really and they want us to be the, they want us to be the best uh on the field and off the field really. They Academic, care about us yep. more. Athletically and academically, right? Yes, sir. Cool, man. So, uh, Chase, you want to you wanna chime in? How's that, how's that coaching staff, man? You got to shout the coaches out. Don't just call them the coaching staff. <laughs> yeah, the coaching staff is great. Like, I just joined last year, and I've improved on my footwork so much, improved on coverages and even learning coverages. And it's also it's also a great experience. It's just really fun. Okay. It's like a beat, sir. So, so you, you improved a lot, but so who are the people that helped you improve it, man? Uh, Coach Jeremiah, right? Coach Jeremiah, who's our uh, defensive coordinator. Uh, who else? Here, Justin. <laughs> I'm Coach, not really sure. Coach, Coach Glenn, Coach yeah, Coach Jeremiah. Glenn. Uh, it was it was a lot of it was a lot of coaches out there. Yeah, it was a lot of coaches. Okay. Like, it was, it was a lot of coaches. Look, King up there itching, ready to talk. What, what you got, my man? Uh, actually, when I was at Grand Factory last year, I got my first offer. Um, and the uh, Orlando tournament in Florida, and the coaches that really helped me improve: Coach Chef, Coach Drew, Coach Glenn. All that really helped me improve. Okay. Or during during uh, seven on seven. So you said you got your first offer last uh, last year, right? Yeah. And last year you were what grade were you in? Eighth. Eighth grade with your first offer, F, you know, FBS or FCS, D1? What'd you say? Uh, what level uh, What level offer did you get? It was the D1 offer from UCF. Okay. Okay. So we got a UCF offer, you know, coming out of the, you know, out of the, the seven versus seven, man. And I, I know the the big tournament that went down like a week or two in Dallas, uh, the pylon event. As soon as, as, man, as soon as that event ended, I my, my Twitter feed was just nonstop, man. Kids were getting – offers left and right it was uh you know it was great to see and, and for you guys like i said you guys are young man y'all are hungry so y'all got a lot of time to perfect your craft you know you've already got one offer chase justin either of you guys had any conversations or anything like that started up yet um no sir but my coach my recruiting coordinator just told me that i have i have some interest from some of these schools fbs schools very nice so look man they're going to uh, come right I, the blessings are going to roll in right, i'm not I'm not in no rush, you know, just keep playing my game, staying humble. And That's it. Time will tell. Yes, sir. What about you, Chase? Any conversations, Any anything like that yet? Not yet, but I'm just going to keep working. Yeah, no, yeah. keep doing what you're doing, man. You guys, like I said, you got the, the right plan in place. You know, you're, you're on a fantastic program right now during the off season. That's really going to help you perfect your craft. It's going to get you additional looks and eyes, which is obviously what you guys want, right? So all the right things are happening. Um, you know, any, uh, what's, what's the plan for the tournaments? What, uh, how many tournaments are you guys going to be in, involved with, you know, where are they at? What are you guys doing? Um, 
Um, we have we have I think ten plus tournaments this season coming up. Okay. But because of because of uh, Corona, I really don't I really don't think we're gonna play ten. Sure. But I think we're, we're going to we're going to travel. We're going to travel a lot. The schedule hasn't came out yet, but every okay. year we travel to different states and we compete in different ball games and tournaments. Very very cool. Yeah, I know. Uh, I'm going to be a part of a big two day tournament. Um, put on by uh PA Nike Elite. Uh, out of yeah. Pittsburgh, they got an event coming in. Uh, like I think the end of uh, May, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm gonna be uh be down there doing a lot of live interviews and, and a lot of uh, video coverage. So that should be a good time. That uh, that's gonna be my first taste of uh you know what a seven v seven tournament looks like. So I'm pretty excited. Right. So uh, with that, man, look, I'm not gonna take up too much more of your time. I think we got a pretty good snapshot of who you guys are individually. Uh, obviously, you guys are young, hungry, and, and got a lot of uh you know a lot of time to perfect that craft and continue to do what you do. Super excited to watch your future unfold. Um, but with that, man, I'm just going to go around, you know, around the table. I'm going to close it out with the same question I do every single time. So whoever goes last is going to be the lucky one. Cause you know, they get time to think. So, uh, you know, being that Justin's talked to, you know, the most, I'm going to start with my man, Chase, man. So Chase question is what motivates and what drives you to want to wake up tomorrow and be that much more hungry than you were today? Fear of not succeeding. Say that one more time. I said the fear of not succeeding. The fear of not succeeding, man. That's that's incredibly well put. All right, yeah. King, what you got, man? What what drives you? To uh, my family. I bought it. My family. I do this all for my mom because she works so hard for me, so I got to work harder for her. I love it, man. Make you got to mom proud, right? Look, man, moms make all the sacrifices in the world, man. So you you got to do it for them. Most definitely. What about you, Justin? Um, just really, just really knowing where I come from. You know, I don't come from the best. I don't come from the best spot. Uh, and just putting on for my family, putting on for my last name, cause that last name means a lot to me. So representing my last name, I feel like I'm doing a good job, and you know, just, just putting on for my peoples. I'm with it, man. I'm with happy. it. So look, guys, man, I appreciate this. You know, like I said, uh, you know, it's a little different than the norm. You know, I appreciate you jumping on. Hopefully you guys get a little more, uh, a little more media conversations throughout your, your careers, man, because the, the future is incredibly bright for the, the three of you. You know, as soon as uh, she told me who was going to be on, man, I, I shot you guys to follow. I was checking out the, the huddle films, you know, so you guys are, you, you guys got some talent. So you guys got the right things in place. I'm excited to watch it unfold. So uh, with that being said, man, for the viewers out there, please continue to blow this thing up, man. This is exactly why we do this. These guys are, you know, class of 20, 24, 23. So they're young, they're ready. You know, let's blow these kids up. Let's get them the looks and the exposure that they deserve. With that being said, I'm Rob Odie. This was Spotlight 39. This was the Grind Factory. Grind Factory, seven verse seven. Take a look. Talent right here. Look for them in a tournament near you. I appreciate it, fellas.